fourth down. Throwing is Mariota. And Ingram holds it in. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. It's a gain of five. And they're able to pick up the conversion here on fourth down. Welcome back now to Denver. All even as we get ready to start the fourth. They'll run it now out of the gun. And it's been like this all night long. Nowhere to run as they stop it behind the line. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. Under four to go now as the clock runs and they come up on second down. Mariota now on second down. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. And a nice gain of 21 yards. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as... I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me. I'm going to keep firing. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. Boy, he does it at a high level, doesn't he? Because when I watch him, I think of his vision. Straight ahead, peripheral. Also has that sense of where holes are going to be before they actually open. I think that helps set him apart from many of the other bats in the league. Seven yards to pick up on the pitch and catch. Well, this is how you shape the thoughts of that interception on the last drive. You come out and start this one four for four. And watching him throw it around with that type of confidence reminds me of a guy I played with way back when and told me, I don't care if I throw ten interceptions in a row. I'm going to stay confident and keep flinging it. I just figured there's something wrong with the football. Call it a gain of three, but not enough to move the sticks. It'll be third and about a foot or two. They'll try and run it. Here's Gordon. And it's been like this all night long. Nowhere to run as they stop him behind the line. Losing two yards that time, and now it's fourth down. Tie game, fourth quarter, and they're going for this thing on fourth down. Mariota. And they're going to try the screen. It's complete. And he's going to have a first down here as he gets this one to the 17-yard line. Call it a three-yard game. And on fourth down, they're able to convert and move the sticks. time for a break we'll come back and see how it all shakes out after this they'll run it now out of the gun it's a good gain of 11 sets him up first and goal the running games played a huge part in getting him down to this point in the field I say stay with it Keep pounding the football. Keep driving. Keep grinding. Yeah, even down in the red zone. Keep going for it. No doubt about it. Dance with what brung you. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. Melvin Gordon, a six-yard touchdown run. And the 49ers have moved out in front. And that score deserves our respect, deserves our excitement. But I'm looking at the clock, and I'm thinking, there's a long way to go in this one. Ideally, they would have liked to milk a little bit more time off. Now, on the other sideline, you start to get the crew together and say, this is what we practiced the two-minute drill for, right? Yeah, you hope you've been in that situation before, and if you have it, you just have the confidence. Hey, let's go down there and get this thing done. But, boy, that's a big <laughs> score right there to give them the advantage. And a nice return sets them up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Now this offensive unit ready to see what they can do here. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now with a game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. And he goes out of bounds across the 40-yard line. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. 
Well, that last run makes this a 100-yard night. I've loved the way he's hit the holes. He's been quick, he's been decisive, and he's been a whole lot of fun to watch. Tomlinson again, a first down carry. And he'll be tackled right on the midfield logo. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. That was a good run, and it got to the second level. And what I mean by that is, that's where the linebackers usually play. First level being the defensive front, last level being the secondary. But the strong safety position ended up making the tackle. And oftentimes, we call them a hybrid. Combination defensive back, combination linebacker. We saw the linebacker make the stop. This is Hunt. And able to push his way forward here for a good little gain. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. I like it. I like the call. Still an opportunity to run the football and chew up a little more time off the clock. They run again with Hunt. And this time the yards won't come so easy as they'll in fact tackle him behind the line. It's a loss of two. Now third down. Partner, you've got about 20 coaches on your payroll, but there's 60,000 of them in the stands. I don't think any of them like that play. And the later we go, it's starting to sound like 100,000 in here. And he checks this one down to LT out of the backfield. And yes, he's into the end zone. So they get the late score they needed. And now the extra point can tie this thing up in the final minute. So getting the big touchdown they needed late in the fourth. Now what do you do? You conservative and just tie it up? No, I think you put your practice into game situation. Go as fast as possible. You already have your play call ready to go. Go for two and decide it right now. All right, now a big two-point conversion attempt still to come. Back to throw. That's caught at the two. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. So still a little over 40 seconds to go. Time enough to put a drive together if they can get this onside kick. And it's the 49ers who recover it, and that ought to just about do it. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And... I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number, kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Probably had 60,000 thinking pass right there, including us in the booth. Yeah, no doubt about it. That was a big call, big guts on that one. And guess what? That run, they'll pay dividends. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. And there will be a break in the action here. They're going to take a timeout. That'll be their second, so one more chance to stop the clock here. And we'll be back. Here's Mariota. And this is caught. And that could seal it. It's a touchdown. And that touchdown puts them up seven. But now is when the fun begins, partner, because if you go ahead and kick the extra point, it's still a one-possession game. Go for two, you might put it out of reach. Yeah, a little decision to be made. Here's Myers now to kick it away. This one taken from the seven. And he'll take this across the 25. A couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. Now this offense ready to head back out there. One possession game. <laughs> Time very much a factor. How does the offense handle this situation? Well, in a lot of cases, they should be somewhat relaxed. And I know that's counterintuitive because this is a pressure situation. But this is Friday practice every week of the season. You go over this situation, having to go downfield, limited timeouts, got to get out of bounds and keep the drive going and set yourself up. Defensively, you can't just lay back and let them do whatever they want. So it is a cat and mouse deal here. How much pressure will the defense bring and how much pressure can the offense handle? We're going to find out. And a stoppage here, a timeout before this third down play takes place. 
as he'll stop it with 13 seconds left to play. The offense on third down tonight, they've only converted once in four tries. This time it's third and three. He's back to throw. And that is incomplete, seven seconds remaining. This defense hasn't had the best showing in this game, but a critical knockdown there. If they can hang on, I guess the end will kind of justify the mean. Certainly, and just think of it this way. It may not be the quantity of the plays that they've had because those haven't been great, but they get a few more quality ones like that. That could finish things off for them. He'll look to throw. Flushed it, and he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And you can just about put this one in the win column for the 49ers. Mariota with a knee to the ground, and that should be it. Well, I know at points in this when you wanted to close your eyes because of all the points that were being put on the scoreboard, you're a defensive guy, but it was a fun little track meet, wasn't it? It was, and you know the people who really enjoyed this game? They're the ones that like going to batting practice at the Major League Baseball <laughs> parks, right? Seeing the 14-11 to 11 game, that sort of deal, that's right up their alley with what we saw in this one. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. From Denver, good night, everybody.